Hi guys, this is Dr. Nadavid Keys of Health. Lockdown and isolation have led to unprecedented levels of anxiety, stress, and depression. Depression affected more than 260 million people worldwide, and that was before the pandemic. This number has gone off the charts since COVID-19 and the subsequent lockdown and quarantine, since social distancing and isolation became the new norm, and since millions of people worldwide lost their jobs and became food insecure. This has caused rise in anxiety and depression worldwide. It is understandable if you feel this way. These are difficult experiences, difficult times that no one can ever prepare for. What makes it even more challenging now is limited access to the mental health services and community resources, including our own social networks that we rely on usually to lift us up. What I'm trying to say is that if you feel anxious, stressed, or depressed, you're not alone. You have the strength to navigate through these tough times. If you are struggling, reach out to others and share how you feel. There is no shame in asking for help. Ask for help. And if you are in the position to lend a helping hand, please do so. Check on your friends, family, neighbors, coworkers, and classmates. Make sure they know that you are there for them. Meanwhile, I will share with you some herbs, teas, and supplements which can help keep anxiety levels down and even reduce uh, depression-related symptoms. Please remember, supplements are not meant to replace prescribed medication or your doctor-approved therapies. Let's start with vitamins. Vitamins play an important role in regulating our body's functions, including hormone regulation and production. Vitamins, which play a especially important role in relieving anxiety and depressive symptoms, include vitamin A, B complex, C, D, and E. Supplementation of these vitamins helps reduce symptoms related to anxiety and depression. Recommended dosage for vitamin A is 10,000 international units daily. For B complex, approximately 500 mg daily. Vitamin C, the recommended dosage is 1,000 mg daily. Vitamin D, 5,000 IU, and of course, plenty of sunlight. And vitamin E, 400 IU. If you take a good, potent multivitamin and mineral supplement, there's a good chance you are getting the appropriate dosage of these vitamins. Check your multivitamin to see if it delivers this dosage. If not, I would recommend getting a more potent supplement or supplementing with some of these individually. Next thing which makes a world of difference is fish oil. I can't tell you how effective it is in relieving anxiety and depression-related symptoms and uplifting your mood. Fish oil is high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are antioxidants. You can either take soft gels or get fish or krill oil. There are flavored fish oils available as well if taste and smell are a concern for you. You need about 2,000 mg of combined EPA, ALA, and DHA daily. I would recommend getting a good fish oil or omega-3 supplement and follow the dosage recommended on the label. Next in terms of importance is GABA. It is an amino acid and neurotransmitter in the brain. When there is not enough GABA, anxiety can worsen. Supplemental GABA can help. I recommend taking up to 750 mg a day. This next supplement is called L-theanine. L-theanine is an amino acid. It is found in green tea. Instead of taking a supplement, I would recommend drinking up to two cups of green tea a day. You get additional benefits of green tea along with this amino acid, which helps keep anxiety levels down. The next mineral I want to talk about is magnesium. Magnesium is a necessary mineral for human health. Your body doesn't need too much of it, but if you aren't getting enough, magnesium deficiency may lead to anxiety-related symptoms. Transdermal magnesium is the best way to replenish cellular magnesium levels since every cell in the body bathes in it. It passes directly into the tissue via the skin where it should quickly be transported to cells throughout the body. This is why I would recommend taking Epsom salt baths as the most effective way of replenishing magnesium in your body, especially for this particular purpose. Nice hot Epsom salt bath will help calm your body, relax your mind, and also provide magnesium you need to ease anxiety and depression. Herbs are also highly effective in dealing with stress, anxiety, and depression. Herbal supplements usually come in tincture, uh, extract, tea, or capsule form. Ashwagandha, bacopa, 
Cava Cava, Passion Flower, Rhodiola, St. John's Wort, and Valerian are all great as supplements to keep anxiety levels down. However, I would recommend you work with an herbalist or a doctor to determine the correct dosage for you. There are some herbs which are very effective when used as teas. These include lavender, lemon balm, chamomile, mint, vervain, linden artilia, and magnolia bark. I have a section on herbs on my website. I recommend you check it out. You will find the benefits of many of the herbs as well as best ways of brewing these herbs to get maximum therapeutic benefits from them as teas. You don't have to take all of these supplements and herbs. Start with one or two at a time. See what works best for you and then stick to that. Not everything will work for everyone. We're all different. Be patient until you find what works best for you. Meanwhile, don't hesitate to seek help. You are not alone. This is an interesting time in human history where we can all relate to each other regardless of who we are and where we are. We are experiencing a shared moment in history across the globe. Take good care of yourself and others. Please share this video with your friends and family. Let's help each other overcome this time. I will see you shortly with another video. Until then, goodbye.